Alright guys, this is going to be uh, AP Euros video 1 for uh, April Monday, April 20th. Uh, if you haven't done so, please go check out Moodle page. We're going to be uh, doing assignments every Monday from here on out. Y'all only have about three weeks left of school, but if you would like to do some assignments for your grade up, go check those out. Do some DBQ, get some practice in. I highly suggest you all do them. Uh, but the first one has been posted if you want to go uh, complete it. So we left off a while back. It's uh, We're picking up on... So we're still period two. We're wrapping up period two, hopefully today or tomorrow. Um, we're still in the middle of French Revolution. It's page 194, PDF page 194, and uh, year review packet two. Um, we're at the very last paragraph of that page, the spring of 1793, so we're going to pick up from there. Hopefully kind of wrap this up today and get into period three to uh, tomorrow probably. All right, the spring of 1793 marked the beginning of what became known as the Reign of Terror. In part, it was inspired by the counter-revolutionary revolt that began in March as, in a western region of France known as the Vendée, a counter-revolution that was largely inspired by anger towards the restrictions placed on the church. French armies met a major defeat that same month in the Austrian Netherlands, followed by the betrayal of their commanding officer, General Dormiers, who fled to join the Austrians. In response to these provocations, the convention created two committees, the Committee of General Security and the Committee of Public Safety. The, later, the latter assumed virtual, virtual dictatorial, dictatorial power of the French over France throughout the following year. The leaders of the security committee included Danton, Carnot, and Robespierre, uh, who were lawyers. These men were associated with the Jacobin faction, which, had, which was becoming more influential at the expense of the Girondins. Uh, the Girondins uh, were tainted by having made the traitor uh, Dormus commander of the French forces in the Netherlands and by their perceived lack of sympathy towards the Parisian masses. The Sand Collades continued to be a useful tool for the Jacobins, and it was a mob of the former who stormed the hall where the convention met and successfully demanded the expulsion of the Girondin members. This allowed the mountain to further consolidate its control, which had already been enhanced following the uproar in July, when Charlotte Corday, a Girondin sympathizer, stabbed to death the radical journalist Marat, a hero of the Sand Collades. While, while he lay in his bath, to appease the Sand Collades' sensibilities, the mountain-led convention established a law of maximum prices which placed limits on the price of bread and taxed the wealthy to pay for the war effort. In August of 1793, uh, Lazare Carnot, the head of the military, issued the fam his famous proclamation calling for a levee in mass, drafting the entire population for military service. This marks the first time that all citizens, citizens of a nation were called to on to serve their country. According to the proclamation, men were expected to go into battle. Women should make tents and clothing uh, at home and serve in hospitals. Children were to turn in old linen to lint, and old folks were to go into public places and arouse the courage of warriors and preach the hatred of kings and the unity of the republic. The armies created out the out of this levy and mass proved to be surprisingly successful against the well-trained but unmotivated soldiers of the Austrian and Prussia, and war once again began to turn in French favor. Once in power, the Jacobins worked to create what they considered to be a republic of virtue. To achieve this idea, they felt they had to obliterate all traces of old monarchical regime. To that end, they came up with a, f a new calendar based on the weeks made up of 10 days. The months were renamed to the se reflect the seasons. In 1792, the first year of the Republic was labeled as, a year, as year one. There was also an attack on Christianity and churches, and those in power forced the removal of religious symbols, public buildings. To, po to move people away from what he thought was the corrupting influence of the church, Robespierre established a cult of supreme being turning the Cathedral of Notre Dame into a temple of reason. Most of these steps proved to be quite unpopular and eventually led to a political backlash against the Committee of Public Safety. From the summer of ninety three to the following summer, France was embroiled in the work into the Reign of Terror. Because the revolution was believed to be a threatened by both internal and external enemies, courtesies of such as the rule of law or fair trials were thrown out of the window. The Committee of the Public Safety first began by banning political clubs and popular societies of women. Next, they executed leading Girondin politicians who were accused of being traitors, and guillotine, uh, the guillotine became a symbol of the age. In the end, around 20,000 individuals were executed. Approximately 15% of those were nobles and clergy. The majority were per peasants who had been involved in counter-revolutionary -revol activities. Eventually, the terror began to turn on those who had fled, who had first set in motion. By, 17, by March of 1794, under the leadership of Robespierre, the terror had an extreme radical faction as the uh, a Bardiste, who were violently anti-Christian and wanted to see the government implement further economic controls. Soon afterward, Danton, one of the Jacobin committee leaders, and his followers were brought to the guillotine for arguing that it was time to bring the terror to a close. The surviving followers of Hebert 
and Danton were joined by members of the National Convention who feared that they were next in line for the guillotine. The end was uh, fairly anticlimactic. On 8 Thermidor, July 26, 1794, Robespierre spoke before the convention about the need for major pur- for um, for one more major purge. Someone in the assembly shouted, down with the tyrant, and for once, Robespierre seemed at a loss for words and left the building. The next day, he and the leading supporters were arrested by the Th- Thermidorians, the label for those who were opposed to Robespierre, and after a quick trial the very same day, 100 leading Jacobins were escorted to the guillotine. The Directory Following the execution of the leading members of the Con- Convention and Committee on Public Safety, the Thermidorians abolished the Paris Commune, a uh, hotbed of radical sentiment along with the Committee of Public Safety. They produced the government known as the Directory because it was led by an executive council of five men who possessed the title of director. The new constitution provided a two-house legislature made up of a council of ancients, which discussed and voted on legislation proposed by the second house, the Council of 500. As part of the backlash against the radical republic established by Robespierre, the franchise was limited to those men who possessed property and only those who possessed significant property were allowed to hold public office. In general, the, the directory witnessed the triumph of men of property over the St. Colots. One sign of this was the revival of ornate dress, which members of the St. Colots had been proud to not possess, along with the removal of all price ceilings on staples such as bread. Another part of this backlash against the radical phase of the revolution was the attack on Jacobin club beans by wealthy young men whose families had grown rich by providing French troops with supplies or, or through the confiscation of church property. The directory had to be had to be concerned with the possibility of a royalist reaction, and on 13 uh, Vendemer, a royalist revolution, re, sorry, a royalist rebellion, did break out in parts of Paris. A young general named Napoleon Bonaparte was told to put down the rebellion. With a whiff of his grape shot, his cannon dispersed the rebels. The directory had been saved, but soon it would be destroyed by its savior. Um, and there's very little usually talked about with the directory. All right, go on to Napoleon. Domestically, the Directory did little to solve the economic problems still facing the French nation, nor did it solve the ongoing conflict with the Catholic Church. Its armies, however, did meet with tremendous success on the battlefield among the rising generation of French generals. The most important was Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon was born in 1769 to a family of minor nobles on the island of Corsica, which had been annexed by France the year prior to his birth. He attended a French military academy, and in 1785 he was commissioned as an artillery officer. Had it not been for the French Revolution, Napoleon would have remained a junior officer for the remainder of his military career, owing it to his relatively humble birth and a Corsican background. However, the Revolution offered tremendous opportunities to young men of, of ability, and Napoleon became a strong supporter of the Revolution and was aligned with the Jacobin faction. In 1793, after playing a major role in the campaign to retake the French port of Toulon from the British, he was made a general. Napoleon was nothing if not lucky, not lucky during his career, and while other Jacobins were dragged off to the guillotine during the Thermidor reaction, Napoleon was left unscathed. Desperate for military victories that might take the people's minds off the dismal conditions at home, the Directory sent Napoleon to Italy. In a series of suddenly quick victories, Napoleon destroyed and combined Austrian and Sardinian armies, and, long before, and before long, France controlled northern and central Italy. With the Austrian and Prussians now out of the war, the only enemy was Great Britain. Instead of trying to cross the English Channel with an invasion in force, a battle that Napoleon knew he would have limited chance of success through the powerful British Navy, he decided to invade Egypt in order to cut Britain's ties with its colony of India. Napoleon succeeded in conquering Egypt and ushered in a new age of appreciation for ancient Egyptian civilization, in part because of the Rosetta Stone discovery. He was unable to do much with his victories on land because a British fleet under the command of Admiral Horatio Nelson defeated a French fleet at the Battle of Abiquir on August 1st, 1798. So we're going to stop the first video there.